No, I'm not a human takes place in an apocalyptic world where the heat from the sun's radiation is killing everyone living on the Earth's surface. To make things worse, an alien entity has infiltrated the planet's atmosphere. These aliens take on the form of humans entering their homes and murdering them while they sleep. The story follows an unnamed man who is guided by his neighbor about the situation in the world. The neighbor serves as the source of information, almost like an exposition character. He lives nearby with his daughter and tells the man about the visitors, aliens disguised as humans, and warns him to not let any visitors inside. The man is given the key to survival, distinguishing humans from these visitors. Their differentiation is based on guidelines broadcasted by FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, which is responsible for identifying the visitors. FEMA's criteria are shared on morning news broadcasts, offering insights on how to spot these alien invaders. According to FEMA, the visitors have several telling features, clear white perfect teeth, dirt under their nails but not on their fingertips, red eyes, faces that appear smushed when you take their photo. Armed with this information, the man continues his daily routine, cautiously checking his windows and answering the door, trying to identify who might be a visitor. During this time, he witnesses several disturbing events, including an alien killing two teenagers, a squad of soldiers, and eventually his neighbor. The neighbor's daughter is left behind and the man takes her under his care. As the story unfolds, a shocking revelation about FEMA comes to light. It becomes increasingly clear that the criteria set by FEMA could easily apply to innocent people. Clear white teeth could simply mean someone who recently visited the dentist. Dirt under their nails could belong to anyone who hasn't washed their hands. Red eyes, well that could be someone suffering from allergies or irritation. The only distinct feature that truly sets visitors apart is the smudged appearance in photographs. This raises a horrifying possibility. FEMA might be deliberately encouraging paranoia and distrust among survivors, pushing them to kill each other. The ultimate goal? to wipe out humanity and replace it with the visitors themselves. With FEMA potentially under the control of these alien invaders from the start. The aliens disguised as FEMA seem to be selectively taking humans during their visits to perform tests and experiments, never killing them immediately but instead abducting them for unknown purposes. This suggests that FEMA's entire role in the story is a cover to aid the aliens in gathering human subjects. Another unsettling mechanic throughout the game is how it reveals whether someone was a visitor or a human after they are killed. If the body is placed in a body bag, they are human. If not, they were a visitor. And this is made clear when a visitor and a human are put in the same room, the visitor kills the human, plus which displays their bodies in a body bag of 